Hello! Alright, I am sure by now we have all seen builds that look like this. Three-piece Providence, Contractors, Fox's Prayer and typically some sort of exotic thrown in. Might be Memento, if you're like me, Dodge City Holster because Dodge City with a pistol, particularly Regulus, is a godsend. Coyotes maybe, etc, etc. As it stands right now, this is pretty much the go-to DPS sort of setup. M1A, your favourite AR, um, some form of exotic. Now if you are running something along the lines of this, this is probably one of the most optimal ways to actually run it for solo. Um, you get high crit damage, high crit chance, pretty good DPS. In terms of overall output and with DPS, taking Heartbreak out of the mix. It's pretty much the way to go. Mix and match your mods how you want. You kind of want to get above 50% crit chance. 51 is like a weird sweet spot. And then obviously 60 being the best. However, I am going to hopefully demonstrate why contractors, although they are meta, I will never take away from the fact that they are meta. We all know they are meta because of the multiplicative stat damage to armor. However, in the long run, they are suboptimal. Now, just because something's meta doesn't mean it's the most optimal. So what we're gonna do here is we have contractors on, and we're basically just gonna compare damage. Now I have boomerang on this, so I'm gonna try and get both crits with boomerang and without boomerang, and ta-da, look at that simple brilliant so so with contractors we are doing 2,665,022 damage the boomerang crit is 3,109,191 we've then taken contractors off and we've put a grupo piece on and we're just gonna do the exact same thing until we get a boomerang crit so then with Grupo, we are hitting 2,609,430. Boomerang would be 3,044,334. However, we have dropped damage, but not every enemy has armor. So in order to get a more stable damage across the board, we're just going to put this on health and we're back on contractors. And we're going to try for a crit with Boomerang as well. Is Boomerang going to want to proc? Come on. There's normal, normal, normal. Boomerang being an absolute special case. Um, right. Boomerang is not working. Don't know why. So against health, Contractors was doing 2,467,613. Obvious, right? No armor. No multiplicative stat applies. If we put this over to Grupo, that was actually surprisingly pretty easy and worked straight off the bat. So, what we see here is contractors will do a lot less damage to health. Whereas the Grupo against health, the damage stays the same. Even the, I, I took the boomerang out of the equation, but just to show, um, yeah. The Grupo is basically consistent throughout versus Contractors. This is important because, for me personally, I'm not trying to go against the meta and say stop using Contractors. There are a variety of builds, LMGs, uh, certain Marksman Rifle as well as the Regulus Pistol build use Contractors because of the multiplicative stat. However, in general DPS setups, I have found that in order to get a more consistent damage ratio across the board, Grupo outperform contractors near enough every time. Simply because not every enemy has armor. Chungas, for example. I would say, for me personally, that Chungas are a greater threat than your average enemies, your veterans or your elites. But yet, because of contractors, we actually diminish our damage because of how contractors works. I'm not saying don't use contractors, I'm just saying maybe have a look at a different way of building your typical DPS setups. Damage to targets out of cover is near enough, although it's meant to be conditional, due to the way in which AIs work and when we shoot them, they tend to 
fall out of cover anyway, etc, etc, or get too close to come out of cover, it's near enough a non-conditional stat, or the condition is very, very easily met. Armour, as we see here, these white bars, is pretty damn simple, and I'm, the damage difference is mostly quite negligible on armoured targets for contractors versus Grupo. You're not going to lose much. Just to reiterate, the contractors against an armoured target would hit 2 million and 665,000, whereas the Grupo hits 2 million 609,000. This is absolutely minimal at best. It's a total of 55,592 damage. That's just the difference between them. However, if we then take that to Chungas or even Warhounds, the difference is quite, I'm not going to say staggering, but in comparison, it's staggering. So again, to reiterate, Contractors Against the Target with Health does 2,467,000, where Grupo will still do 2,609,000. That is a difference of 141,817 damage. That means against an armoured target, although Contractors wins, it's not by much. But against a non-armoured target, such as Warhounds, Chungas, various raid bosses, etc, etc, Grupo outperforms contractors by a pretty big degree. Near enough, like when you compare the two directly, it's near enough 120% more effectiveness, more optimal damage. Now, in an attempt to actually show that I'm not talking absolute waffle bollocks, I ran around trying to find the Chunga. Couldn't find one, but I found an elite territory control instead, so. Bear with me while I clear out the riffraff and not get grenaded into the frigging ground with my perfect last cannon build. Oh god, it gives me such a headache now. Anyway, right, so... Against armoured targets, as I was saying, contractors will win. However, you kind of have a dummy stat as well. LMG damage. With Grupo, you're at least getting 10% more critical hit damage. So again, you could argue, especially with setups like Boomerang, although the multiplicative stat will still apply, having more critical hit damage in the long run again is more DPS. So, completely forgotten what I'm wearing here, but either way, let's have a little pop at this guy and hopefully see what happens. Right, I absolutely monged it and hit him with a regulus, but as you can see here, it is practical in the world as well. So my initial hit with contracts did 2,467,613. I then popped him in the chest with regulus for 24 mil. We're not going to talk about that. But then when I swapped to Grupo, I did 2,609,000. I did a lot more damage to Mr. Angel Angry Barrett as using my Grupo gloves over contractors. The reason I'm suggesting contractors is because Mr. Angel Angry Barrett here, as a Chunga, not only just named, just as a Chunga, is a greater threat than the others. So I'm hoping this portrays how to get more optimal damage. I'm not saying do not use contractors, they're bad. Contractors are bloody brilliant. But in the right circumstances, with the right sort of build setup, Grupo generally will give you an overall better damage ratio than contractors can. Anyway, hopefully you've learned something, have fun, good luck, don't die. It's bad for the health.